Hey guys, Hayden here for another discussion video. So, Shovel Knight is a huge popular topic right now with the whole Amiibo thing, the rumors going around and whatnot. And as most of you guys probably know, I love Shovel Knight. I'm a huge Shovel Knight guy. So, I thought I'd go. There's been some controversy over whether he's still like able to get into Smash Brothers or not. A lot of people think he can get in, a lot of people think he's not worthy of getting in or he's, he doesn't have a chance. I want to talk in this video why Shovel Knight still has a chance. I have There are a lot of solid arguments to back it up, at least in my opinion. So I just kind of want to go through them with you guys and uh, discuss with you guys in the comments what you think about Shovel Knight's chances being in Smash. But So the first point is, of course, he is a very popular character. You can't argue that. I know there's some people that are against having Shovel Knight in Smash, but at the end of the day, he is an incredibly popular character. You know, like, his game was amazing, he has a very fitting moveset that could fit into Smash, and between those two, and he just, he looks like a Nintendo character, so those things combined have just made him a super, super popular character, even before this whole Amiibo thing started. So, the first fact is that he is just a popular character, you, you can't argue that. The second, now, my second point is that Sakurai, I mean, again, Sakurai sometimes is not a man of his word, he has gone back on it before, he has fucked us around and told us other told us the opposite of what he was actually going to do and you know all that you know Sakurai is a troll and he, but he has said before that any character is fair game for Super Smash Brothers as long as they are popular enough now with that said he has said that there have been ridiculous requests before like i think there was an actual article where he flat out said like characters like Goku and SpongeBob like that's ridiculous like we can't put those in but like you know Shovel Knight it, that doesn't, he doesn't fall in the same realm as Goku and Spongebob, obviously. So, in Sakurai's eyes, I think he could see Shovel Knight having a fair chance if he was popular enough. And I guess maybe if Sakurai liked him enough. We still have no idea how this fighter ballot's going. But, um, yeah, Sakurai said pretty much anyone is fair game for Super Smash Brothers as a fighter. Now, his game, Sho now Shovel Knight, that game takes ideas from tons of NES gems. Like, okay, the map from Shovel Knight is ripped straight out of Mario 3. But it works perfectly. You even got the little like soldiers sometimes like like on the map, like going to the different spots. You could fight them wherever. Uh, you can explore the towns like in um in Zelda 2. Uh, now this isn't the first party Nintendo game, obviously, but the level design is very heavily influenced by Mega Man. Now, I I, I know that again that's not a first party Nintendo game, but Mega Man was one of the big defining feature, one of the big defining series on the NES. Mega Man's one of the most iconic characters of all time, and he's in Smash Brothers. Like, I, I think it's okay that like, I, I don't want to consider Mega Man a Nintendo game. It's Capcom, obviously, but it's a big part of the NES and early Nintendo. So it, it makes sense that they pulled from it. I don't think that harms his chances at all. Like, Sho Shovel Knight's game is based on, for the most part, like ideas from old Nintendo games. And I think that really helps his chances of getting into Super Smash Brothers, a Nintendo game. Now, the next point that I want to bring up is that he was also released on Nintendo consoles first. I know he was released on PC, Wii U, and 3DS first, but I mean, Nintendo was Nintendo's consoles were two of the three uh, first consoles that he was released on. I don't know. I didn't do much research into this. I don't know if that was like a legal thing or like they wanted to release it on Nintendo consoles first. Yacht Club Games has made it no secret that they love Nintendo, they love Smash Brothers and all that stuff. So may maybe they just wanted to get him onto Nintendo consoles first. So I don't know, but he did appear on Nintendo consoles before Sony and Microsoft. So I think that's also really helped. I think that helps his chances as well of getting into a Nintendo game. You know, fuck that PlayStation All-Stars bullshit. <laughs> um... The next thing that I want to bring up is that he has an amiibo. Now, this has been, a, again, like I said earlier in the video, this has been super controversial lately because it's not actually a Smash Brothers line of amiibo. It's a Shovel Knight amiibo, like, of the Shovel Knight line of amiibo. Now, I don't know if there will be other amiibos in the Shovel Knight series, but that is a Shovel Knight amiibo from Shovel Knight, not from Smash Brothers. However, that doesn't mean that much because in an interview with uh, Damon Baker, uh, Game Explained had an interview with Damon Baker. He was at the Nindies event. I forget. I think he's like public relations or something at Nintendo. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'll leave a video. I'll leave a link to that interview in the comments. But uh, he said that the Shovel Knight amiibo is a fully licensed amiibo. 
meaning that it can be used in any Nintendo property that they see fit. They, they, that could mean Mario Kart, that could mean Yoshi's Woolly World, best case scenario, Smash Brothers. So I, I, the fact that he is not a Smash Brothers amiibo, doesn't, I don't think that harms his chances in the slightest. He, 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 like Damon Baker said, he can still be used in Nintendo in other Nintendo games just like any other amiibo. And again, he does say that in the interview. So the next thing that I want to bring up, and it is the it's the last point that I have, but maybe some more will come up if we discuss in the comments. So the last thing I kind of want to bring up is I am kind of against like letting like a shitload of indie characters in. Like if we got indie characters, I would only want one, and I of course I want Shovel Knight as the indie character. But I think because Nintendo, especially lately, has really opened up and adopted all these indie games into their loving arms. For, for lack of a better description, um, Nintendo loves their indie games. Like they love them. They've let so many like be on Nintendo consoles, like on the eShop. And Shovel Knight is by all means one of the top ones, if not the top one in many regards, whether that be like gameplay or like how well it's sold or whatnot. And I think if you had Shovel Knight in there, that would be a really good representative of all the indie characters in Nintendo's like library, if you want to call it that. Like, I, I know a lot of people are pushing for Shantae as well, and while I would, actually would like to see Shantae too, I am definitely, like, if it has to only be one character, and I think it should only be one, I am definitely Team Shovel Knight. I love Shovel Knight's game. I'm super excited for Plague of Shadows, which comes out really soon, I think. I think it comes out this month. But um, that's beside the point. I think Shovel Knight would be a great representative, not only for Shovel Knight, but for all of Nintendo's indie games. Because I, I think that's kind of what, um, but that's kind of like what Pac-Man did. Like, yeah, he represented like the Pac-Man series, but he represented like Namco on a whole. Like his taunt was like a bunch of like Namco characters, like the thing that he would hold. And he's got like the Mappy Land, uh, trampoline. So I think Shovel Knight, like, I don't think Shovel Knight's moveset would represent indie characters. I, I don't think it should. It should definitely represent Shovel Knight. But I think Shovel Knight, like metaphorically, would represent like all the indie characters that Nintendo has. So that's pretty much what I had to say about Shovel Knight. I think he still has an amazing chance of getting into Smash Brothers. I will, I, I will cry if I see him get into the game. Like Shovel Knight, he's one of my top characters. If you didn't see my top ten DLC characters, um, I'll leave it. I'll leave a link to the to that in the description as well. If you guys have not seen that before, but I really want Shovel Knight in, and I think he has an amazing chance. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. So. Get discussing what do you guys think about Shovel Knight? Does he have a good chance? Does he have no chance? A little chance? If you enjoyed this video, uh, leave a like, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more on Shovel Knight and other things Nintendo. Well, Shovel Knight's not Nintendo, but I do like Nintendo stuff on this channel, <laughs> so you know what I mean. All right, peace out, guys. Bye.